Alright, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Recha, Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. There is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who told us this truth to the Spirit and power, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. And honors and citations to the elect document doing these works in sincerity and truth. Alright, so, um, you know, in this lesson, man, you know, I'm just, uh, I'll read this article, man, because Walmart pretty much, you know, we speak upon gradualism, but guess what? There's an end to the gradualism. And, uh, we come in at the end of America's gradualism. We coming at the end of, of Walmart's gradualism. You know, uh, even myself, you know, seeing Walmart over the years. All right, not to make like I'm 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 old or something. You know, you know, um, don't want to act older than I am. Right, so to speak. But uh, I remember a lot of uh, cashiers. Used to have a lot of cashiers at Walmart, and then they what? They pretty much tore it down, so to speak, and they added the self checkouts, and then they added a whole section of self checkouts. So that was what? That was gradualism, prepping these people to take the uh, mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. All right, and now Walmart takes yet another step. Of gradualism towards prepping these people and making them comfortable with the uh, RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, which will be forced upon the people, man. You know, according to Revelations 13 and 16. And once you take, if you take that, man, you're gonna die of a grievous death, according to Revelations 14 and 9, on down. So I'm read this article and get some scriptures. It says, to the spirit, it says Walmart is enacting. No touch procedures so that customers can shop more safely during the coronavirus outbreak. Okay. It says, according to a report by USA Today, shoppers who buy items through Walmart Pay won't have to touch the screen anymore and instead will be able to scan a QR code and pay from an app on their phone. Right, so I'm guessing now you can go to your app store and you can download Walmart Pay, and the QR code is gonna come up. When you're done swiping your stuff, you put your phone under the uh, under um whatever new device Walmart is gonna have, and boom, you're good to go. So this is damn near, damn near Amazon Go. Amazon Go is the same damn thing. In order to get in the store, boom, scan your phone. You go ahead and get what you get. You walk right out. Now Walmart has it in the opposite, um, in the opposite, uh, 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 you know. Walmart just has it as the opposite. You walk in, and when you walk out, boom, you scan your phone. So Walmart is pretty much on the level of Amazon Go. Right, I mean, of course, it's still gonna be lines, but as far as payment, they're on the same level now, you know, damn near. So it says, Yeah, but that, that that's pretty much the point. Well, I'll, I'll read this part. It says, We're in unprecedented times, said Janie Whiteside, Walmart Executive Vice President and Chief Customer Office. We know customers want and need to be served differently, and we're moving quickly to adapt. To those change to those changing needs it's one way we can help to add stability to our customers lives see other businesses are also taking similar steps for shoppers to reduce their chances of contracting the coronavirus for example walmart kroger and albert stunt albert sons are going to install sneeze guard oh yeah con yeah we everybody doing that and delivery service like DoorDash and Uber Eats have options for couriers to leave food at the door so customers don't have to interact. But yeah, that's it. 
you know? So there you have it, man. Right? And they're doing it all. Um to try and make it seem like they're having mercy upon the people and helping them out. We don't want you to get the coronavirus. Let me come up with something so that you don't get it. I know you're scared. We sure don't want you to get it. So this is Proverbs 12 and 10. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast, but the tender mercy, you see, so this is a mercy. This is mercy from the so-called white man, from what it seems. He's helping you to not get the virus by touching this dirty, disgusting screen that everybody and their mama touches. Esau, the so-called white man, these so-called white people don't wash their hands. They'll do whatever they got to do in the bathroom and they won't even wash their hands. And then they'll touch the screen and then you come and touch the screen. Then you might scratch your face. So Esau is saying, look, this is Esau's form of having mercy upon the people. Like, look, guess what? Now you don't even have to touch it. And we got the automatic doors to open up. You don't got to touch nothing. Don't even worry about getting the coronavirus. We helping you out. But guess what? But the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. So, to the naked eye, you would think, wow, like, this is good. This is good. They're, they're finally doing something right. We've been needed this. But actually, in the long run, what they just did wasn't for your benefit. It was actually a cruel thing. So you may think that it was nice and helpful, but actually it was cruel and, and it was messed up. Let's go into the word cruel, right? Ter uh, from the Hebrew word, uh, akazar, akazaria, if I'm not mistaken, akazaria. Which means cruel, fierce, violent, harsh. All right? You see that? Now, that's just harsh, man. You see what somebody said? Now, that's just harsh. Did somebody did something grimy. So, what's, what's really... How is it grimy, man? Because it's prepping you to take the mark of the beast. Right? And we know that once you take the mark of the beast, you're done. You have absolutely no chance of making it to the kingdom. Right? You have absolutely no chance. You done, you finished. The Lord is gonna jack your ass up. So that's cruel. Actually, it's cruel because they're prepping you for that. That's gonna be the same machine, whatever QR code that you're gonna put your I mean that your phone is gonna uh 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 have. And whatever whatever scanning device that Walmart has, that could be the same exact scanning device that's gonna scan your chip. So that wasn't put there for your mercy. It was put there to be able to uh, 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 build upon the infrastructure um, of of the of of what the mark of the beast is gonna be uh, uh, ran off by, man. So that's not good. That's the mark of the beast right in our fucking face. You know? You know, the mark of the beast being the RFID chip. The RFID chip ain't, uh, 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 ain't gonna stand alone. It's gonna have to be swiped by certain things. And they're building it now. You know, they're working on the RFID chip now, man. Massachusetts, Massachusetts uh, um, Institute Technology, MIT. In Rice University, they're working on vaccine chips right now, and they're getting support from uh, the the Gates Foundation and Mark Zuckerberg, the creator of Facebook. He he's he's throwing in extra money now to speed up the process. Extra money means more heads. More heads is more iron sharpening iron. The quicker they could get it done, the better they could get it done. So, you know this 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 is the Enochium. All right, this is the end, you know, Lord willing. And uh, 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 hey, man, you know, Lord willing, this this be it, man. All right, with that, Shalom.